Do you and your team use Monday.com? Well, introducing JotForm Prefill 2.0's newest integration with Monday.com. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly, and it is no secret that people don't really like to fill out forms. However, when that form comes pre-filled with important information like their name or their phone number or email address, the likelihood of them completing the other fields on that form are so much higher. So let's walk through how to pre-fill this form with monday.com data. Now I've already chosen the form that I'd like to work with and assuming that you have already connected this form to monday.com, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top to publish. Then over on the left-hand side, I'm going to choose prefill, then monday.com prefill. Now, if this is your first time authenticating monday.com through the prefill option, you're going to need to grab the API key and place it here. Now, I have already authenticated, so it's gonna automatically recognize me. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my account. Next, it wants us to select a board. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my contacts. Next is the group my primary contacts, and now we need to match up the fields. So from monday.com, I want their name, and that's going to pre-fill my name field. Next, I want their email, and that will pre-fill the email field. And that for right now is all I have. However, you can also include hidden fields. So if there's data that you don't want them to know is there, maybe their length of service or the team that they're currently involved with, you can add a field and hide it, but also include it in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Settings. And now we can add a new pre-fill. Now, if I accidentally miss something and I need to go back and map again, I just need to click on pre-fill settings and that will bring me back. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add a new pre-fill. Now we can see here that we can check people by a checkbox or we can utilize this search box over here. So if I wanna look for someone specifically, we can do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and choose myself and then we'll create. Next, we have a couple of options. We have a drop down of can edit. So if you want them to be able to edit their name, edit their email, you definitely want to have that on. But if you do not want them to edit, make sure you choose read only for those fields. Then the three dots, we can send the invitation. We can copy the URL to send it one-on-one -on -one through communication. We can rename or we can delete. So if I go ahead and click this, it's going to open up the form pre-filled out for me. Look at that, I don't have to do anything except for choose the day and time for which I want to have my connection with my boss. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating the pre-fill function with monday.com, please let us know and I'll see you next time.